Hi, and welcome to Autograph. Before diving into using the software, let's quickly review the different elements that make up the interface. At the top of the interface, there's a horizontal bar that provides access to various types of menus. The rest of the interface consists of different panels, represented by blocks. These panels are located next to each other and are sometimes stacked on top of each other when using tabbed navigation. You can resize these panels by placing your cursor on the dividers between them and clicking and dragging them to give more or less space to a particular panel or several ones. By clicking and holding down the left mouse button on a panel header, you can move it and change its position within a workspace. For example, the project panel, which is initially located at the top left corner, is now at the bottom right next to the timeline panel. It's possible during the learning process that you unintentionally move these panels. And in that case, it would be a bit difficult to follow along with these tutorials. If that were to happen, you could easily reset the interface to its default layout. Just click on the Workspace button and select Reset Workspace to Default. Autograph's interface will then go back to the way it was originally. Autograph's interface is designed to adapt to different screen sizes, whether you're working on a powerful workstation or a laptop. To adjust the interface size, click on the gear-shaped button at the top right corner of the interface. Then go to the Appearance section. The UI Resolution Scale parameter allows you to select a new overall size for all elements of the interface. This can make elements much smaller, allowing you to store more information in the same space, like in the Timeline or in the Properties panel. On the other hand, if you're working on a smaller screen, like a laptop screen, or if you want to make adjustments for your vision, you can set up a larger interface with bigger elements. To return to the default software scale, simply enter 1.0 in the UI resolution scale parameter. When starting Autograph, a welcome screen appears. After closing it, you can bring it back up by clicking on the Home button at the top of the interface. Here you can find links to Autograph documentation, our Left Angle YouTube channels available in English and French, social media profiles, and downloadable projects. These projects are located in the Assets section. To download them, just click on a project and scroll down to the Download Project button. The project will be downloaded, unpacked, and opened directly in Autograph. This allows you to explore different types of projects that vary in complexity and reuse elements to learn Autograph, create YouTube videos, or any other videos for educational or production purposes. These projects are distributed under the Creative Commons BY license, which allows you to reuse them by citing Left Angle as the source. In this video, we went over how to resize panels, reset a workspace, and adjust the resolution of the interface display. 